Alright, this is Jack Aaron here with Brian Barber, and we're going to open another sealed box of the new set, Force of Will, and um, yeah, let's dive into it. We made it back to the time machine after being ever so nicely uh, kicked out last night. We were, we, we were just trying to, you know, make some videos and open some Force of Will packs and shit on Joe, but hey, whatever. It was closing time, though. <laughs> uh, pretty sweet new box they got going on here. It's like stiff cardboard, so it won't fall apart. And Your then lapis. here's the little thingy that you put on top to showcase <laughs> skill lapis. Of course, everybody wants to play him. I, I don't even know what I want to do now. Like, I've already opened up three or four of that dude. Like, come on. I think he's going to be like the probably the new R&R. I don't know, maybe. Oh, the whole reason. Okay, let me not. Let me not say that. Dude poops on your Valentina one side. Dude poops on R and R the other side, and still kind of Valentina. Yeah. Like I think they got some serious hate for your decks, Jack. Probably. I don't know. So. Oh yeah, I'll, we'll get the codes uh, out yeah, in a sec. All right. Nightmare Raiders. Nighttime Raiders. Aware Rabbit. Shocker. Out of the forest. I'm gonna go through these a little slowly, only because I haven't got a chance to look at these or see any of them, except for what was in the spoilers. Uh, Demonic Commander, which is a new Nox Spectre. Ooh, Foil Black Moons Memoria. Nice. And a Foil Mordred, which you can get in the Precon, which is delightful. Hey, a reaper. We got our one stone for that bug deck. Yeah, it's true. One down. X amount ago. Hey, Rook Egg, another reprint. Yay. Perfect. In case you guys couldn't tell, Jack loves reprints. He loved how Magic always had reprints and all that kind of stuff. No, I'm, I'm fucking joking with you. Stupid Oxing, and Zombie, <laughs> and a Foil Wind Secluded Refuge. Wind Secluded Refuge. It's, it's an interesting card. That's the two drop draw card, right? Um, yeah, draw a card, and whenever it's. Spell or ability your opponent controls targets your J resonator you control. You may banish this card if you do cancel that spell or ability. Yeah. That's pretty solid. And what uh, Joe found out the hard way is that it's a May effect. It's not, oh, well, obviously I target it to counter the first effect and then blow it up with Blazer or something. It's like, no. You, you choose when that happens completely. Yeah. Which is pretty solid. It makes it easier. Like, again, what's his name? Uh, Bruce just blew Joe out with it on the pre-release. Yeah. Ooh, Mary Bell. Mary Bell. Valentina and a foil and Zombie's Curse. Hmm, interesting. You know what's funny is that guy, DMO, whatever, I saw him open. He got three full art Mary Bells. I remember you saying you haven't seen one. Yeah, I haven't seen one yet. Yeah, he opened three. In how many boxes did you do? Uh, he three boxes, but he had two and one and one and another. Well, hey, we got two boxes to go right now, buddy. So we'll figure that out when we get there. Moon Breeze Elf. It's the new cool um, elf priest. Except it produces moon, and it can't be attacked, which is nice. Feel free to tap it. Like, seriously, three mana on turn two, and the fact that your elf can't be attacked. Pass our four, first foil basic stone, which looks like the first stone you get in Zelda Ocarina of Time. <laughs> it really does. Which, of course, we're using a Zelda play mat, because I love Zelda. Oh my god, yeah. I couldn't remember what stone you were talking about yesterday, and yeah. it occurred to me. Oh wait, it's that one you get from the Deku Tree, right? Yeah, like Pharaoh's... Uh, em emerald or the right, because the emerald. first three stones are about those ancient fairy things. Yeah. Ooh, we got a ruler in the back. Ooh. And it's stamped. Ooh. And unfortunately, I think it's the tree. I think it's also the tree, considering I don't see anything from the, the backside, buddy. Yep, we got a stamped tree. Now, the cool thing, which I didn't realize about these, well, they're not stamps, they're full arts, I guess, if you will, is they're textured. As you can see, like, the elk here and the animals here and here are all kind of textured and stand out. You can kind of see it in the light. And apparently the tree and the thing in the background. It's kind of cool. I'm not going to lie. I kind of like the full arts now that I've actually got to see them. Yeah, so 
I don't know if that actually does constitute the stamp for the tree, but that's what both of my trees look like, so... Either I have two stamped trees, or that's just what my trees are. Yeah. Uh, these packs are terrible to open. Yes, sir. Seal of Wind and Light. New cancel spell. <coughs> you pay one moon, awaken, and they can't chase it. Which is pretty sweet, you know, counter spell. Obviously the nuts in the Kaguya deck. Yeah. Um, foil m Memory of Flame. And we got our first Regalia. Ooh. Which, which ones we get? Um... Illusionary demonic glow to the earth. Oh, Gilapuses. Yeah. So, I don't know. These might or might not be expensive. Because, depending on how, he works out. Uh, I don't like the art of this set. It's pretty sweet. Yeah, it's, it's similar to Kaguya's, but, like, Kaguya's is all about, like, a Kaguya card or a Awakens. This is about just active abilities, which is pretty good. And our second regalia, which I wonder if these are going to be in bunches. I don't know. Heavenly Instrument Hydromonica. I love that card. Which one is... Whose is this? That is Blue Chicks. Oh, okay. And then a Foil Crescent Moon Magician. Ooh. Way rabbit. Ooh. Ooh. Piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Nah, I... Uh, she's the one ruler that I haven't actually uh, seen yet opened. Um, I've opened up... Uh, four of the five myself. Yeah. I have zero intentions of opening a box until I win the the league here. Gotcha. Space time collapse is our rare. The basic green stone and a foil. The executioner. Ooh, Zombie. I like that card. <coughs> That's gonna go in my uh, Kagu deck I'm working on. Yeah. I have three foils already, so... Nice. Hey. hey. Yeah, you can take that one. <laughs> I will hold you to that. <laughs> uh, Child of the Forest. Kagi's Premonition. Ooh, I see a uh, foil super rare back there. Ooh. Swallow. Drill Sergeant. Yeah. yeah. Stone. Ooh, Full Art Athena. Is it full? Oh, she's got the Stamp Athena? Yeah, Stamp nice. Athena. Got the pentagram going on in the background, and she herself is the textured one, as you can kind of see in the reflection there. Twelve apostles. She's got haste. Whenever she deals damage, put two one-one counters on her, and you can pay one to have her deal one to each player. Oh my god, I think she's so good. Like in the limited, it was just great. It's just like turn three, uh, answer it or I win, more or less. Yeah, because then you just. Make her do damage to everything, and she gets huge. I went so deep on her in the pre-release. Like I played her turn. I pl turn two. I had the the winds include refuge to protect her. Turn three, go Athena. Turn four, drop two of her enchantments on her and swing for a ton and do a thousand to myself. Foil demonic commander and our other regalia, the new Scalibur apparently. Can we try to spell the abilities of punish control? Oh yeah, if you got J ruler and resonating. Okay, so yeah, this is the one that works with the tree. So the tree says if you're about to die, you don't, and then you got to put Alice in the play and that in the play, and basically Alice has got to eat the damage until she dies. Yeah, the and card the card gives you uh, a frost titan effect where like if you get targeted, it's countered unless they pay an extra two, and the fact that if, obviously if you're not playing tree and you're playing a J ruler that physically can do combat, it buffs Alice and your J ruler. Yeah. Uh, space Time Anomaly, see the Shining Bamboo. Apparently, Bamboo's big in this one. Way Rabbit, Demon Flame, another reprint. Although, I gotta admit, I kinda like this one better without the yellow border. I got a foil one for you, Jack. Perfect. Ooh, another Full Art. Full Art Valentina. Ooh! And it's a, a Puppet Monarch. She steals a dude and you keep it as long as you have her in play. She's yeah. an 8 8 for 4, which isn't too bad. I like the full art on her. I saw one in the case over there at the that portal, and it looks pretty nice. Yeah, I'm just saying, looking at it right now, it does look pretty nice. They're definitely still trying to emphasize her chest, but hey, whatever. Yes. This is a Where an I... anime game, probably w well dominated by male players, so whatever. Uh, another illusionary demo. Oh. Illusory, illusory demonic glow of the earth. 
another Gilapis regalia, and a foil memory of disappearance, which is a card that works with the red ruler. It's all about exile. I've already got like three full art of that card. Oh my god, I tell ya. Really? Yeah, it, from what it looked like with my boxes is I'm pretty sure I opened up like Izanami the most uh, as like my super rare and I feel like the two rares I got the most, no, I could be crazy, were Drill Sergeant and Crescent Moon Magician. Mm. So we got Mary Bell, the insane software machine. And another regalia. We got the flying one. Perfect. Ooh, I need four of these for Valentina 2.0. Her with flying seems really good. And a foil sacred ox. Awesome. This stuff with evolutionary counters. Hmm. If you go talk to Bruce, I know Bruce has a stamped Apollo. I have two stamped Apollos, but you know where they're going for me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's just such a good card. I, mean, I agree with you. Give your dude flying. Put stuff in. Oh my god, this is yeah. obnoxious. Like I said, collect all the stamps and full arts right now, throw them right into the special project, and we got this. Yup. Bam. Bam. This is call to action. That card seems pretty really sweet. Basically, it's a free cantrip. Assuming you're targeting a beast, of course. Oh, we got our other ruler. Mm -hmm. And we also got Prissia for the first time. She seems. Gross. She's got every ability and she can gain flying. And even if you kill her, you take 5 damage. So she's a lightning bolt for the face. If she's you're, also 7 4. Yeah, if your opponent decides to thunder her, oh, guess what? You lost a creature and they thundered themselves. I'm going to go by your hay. That's probably. Gil Lapis. Gil Lapis. And a foil magic screw. Woo! Nobody cares about. But Gil <laughs> Lapis, this is the one that I think a lot of people are excited about. Mostly because he has Glimpse of Kage built into him, and he can also um, flip back. Flip back, and he can also shrivel a target creature, give him minus two, minus two, and steal a bunch of creatures from your opponent. Actually, he can do it to a J Resonator. So if you're playing against somebody who's playing like Shahrazad, seven eight, you just pay eight mana and you can kill their J Resonator. Um, he's twelve twelve, and then he gets his. Um, moon in, which makes them basically a uh, 14 14. I want to say each moon pumps two, yeah. Yeah, so if you get one moon in play, he's a 14 14. Um, and then his uh, God's Art is you basically steal one of a regalia creature. What was the and card that did together. that? That was like Kel'Thuzad in WoW TCG. Remember yeah. that? Oh my yep. god, was that good. Yeah, so basically he's like Kel'Thuzad and. Glimpse of Kage built in, and he only fits for three, and you get to pay your, and he basically, oh wow, yeah, that's right, I forgot, he has barrier shadows for Regalia. Yeah, on he, his, he poops wow. on Valentina. Yeah, he, yeah, he wrecks Valentina's day. So, if I see a lot of people playing these, I'm <laughs> no longer playing Valentina. That's going on the shelf. You just so. gotta, like, splash Final Forfeit, and that turn you go deep, you cast Final Forfeit. Yeah. You already play no. You already playing Valentina Green. Don't, it don't even splash. You just straight up play Final Forfeit. Yeah. So I gotta find room for Final Forfeits and the Flying Regalia. Yeah, like that, that, if Gil Lapis is a thing, you just get, go all uh, main deck one of Final Forfeit and literally the turn you're gonna combo. <laughs> Some crazy bird curse Holy Moon Pure Knights J Resonators you control with Awakening Gain plus two plus two rest target J Ruler. Oh, interesting. Pretty good. Knight of Solstice. Ooh. Barbara likes that card. Yes, Sukiyomi I do. Yomi Noble. Another card I like. Super rare. What is this card? Players cannot play. Activate abilities of Resonation. I know, I know, I know. Moon. Awakening. This card has destroy target non moon addition if you do put. Oh, okay. It's pretty sweet. And it's a creature type moon. Yeah. Wow. And she's a two drop. Yeah. Like an actual two drop. Yeah. They're not blocking the one like they did on Persia. And a full interesting. Don't you just love those reprints? <coughs> yeah, especially of the good Knights of the Round Table. I don't think I've seen anybody play Tristan or Mordred. Yeah, see, I feel like Mordred would have been played if he wasn't a four drop. Like, yeah. if he was a three drop, he would have been probably playable. Like, just look at yeah. Gareth. Gareth has been seeing a lot of play. Especially because 
he has target attack, he's an 8-8, eight, eight, he prevents good damage to himself, and you can cheat him with Flame King Shout. Yeah. Um, Servers of Sacred Moon, Veteran of Master, Memoria, Angel of Wisdom, Fire Kingdom, Luminescent Bamboo Bullet, Foil Stone, and a Foil Tsukiyomi Noble. Nice. Nice. I like the art on that. That's pretty sweet. Bamboo Bullet's another card that I saw a lot of in my stuff. Yeah. Like, I was talking to them. I said I should have had Joe with me. He's a panda. He could have eaten all this stuff. That's true. Joe Weslow, our sad little panda. <laughs> Wolf, Shining Strike, Valentina's Resilience, Memory of Disappearance, a regular Athena, and a full art Thumbelina. Ooh. Awesome. Delightful. Fairy tail tap, put a support counter on this card. J Rose Minions, plus two, plus two for each support counter on this card on the turn, then remove all support counters. Alright, so she buffs stuff. And it looks like her bows in her hair and the I'm gonna say that it looks like the swallow from Pokemon. <laughs> and the flower are the texture. Pretty cool. I like these full arts. They're not bad. I'm liking where they're going. Yeah. It's just, sadly, I understand that the old stamps took up a fair amount of the card, and people couldn't couldn't read them because they weren't trying hard enough, but I, I do like this full art stuff. Yeah. Regular Luminous of Bamboo, a Green Stone, and a Foil Infernal Spirit of Bel... Sar... Sar... Sarvia? Is that the dragon? No, no, this is the one that when it attacks deals two damage to you. Right. The one drop four four. Trying to make a scene better. Yeah. Which it works. Not denying that at all. Alright, we're gonna just speed up and basically cut to the back. Crest all you, all you gotta do future. is get a nice, like, you know, cosplay Kagiya or something. Keeper of the Future Skulls and a full art space time collapse. Ooh. Choose one, destroy target resonator or regalia, or destroy up to one target resonator or regalia. To yeah. Oh, okay, so this works with Gil Lapis. Basically, you gotta destroy a regalia and a resonator if you are playing him. Yeah. Otherwise, you gotta pick one or the other if you're not. Yep. Solid. Sorcery speed, but it all, it's oh, all it's good. Sorcery? Yeah, that's oh, sorcery speed. That's awkward. Yep. If that was instant speed, that'd be gross. If that was instant speed, it'd be immediately better than Stone to Death. Yes. Uh, Drill Sergeant. Ooh, Moonbreeze Memoria. The uh, one for Kaguya. Produces Whiter Moon. And a foil Prissy's Call to Action. Ooh. I kind of want foils of those. Yeah. That card, I feel like that card's going to be good. I got to get three more myself. All right, let's see. We're about halfway through this first box. Hmm. I gotta make got, sure I scan all my codes. Yeah, me too. Uh, memory of Disappearance. We got the Blue Memoria for that chick that nobody's opened yet, and a Foil Memory of Flame. I might, I might uh, have to inquire to you to take your two Foil Memory of Flames for a deck I'm working on. Oh, that's fine. Where rabbits? Space time collapse. Who doesn't love way rabbits? Uh, another Black Moon Memoria, except it's regular, and a Foiled Child of the Forest. Ugh, I was I was fed up with that card. Like, I understand it's a common, but I swear, like, of all the commons I got yesterday, like, that was, like, the largest amount of commons. Pitch Black Moon, which works with the Lapis. Um, World Tree Protectors are rare. Oh, we got the Red Foolish Memoria. Taps reduce red or tap to remove the top party main deck, which works with the red guy, and a foil Kagia's Premonition. Nice. Pretty sweet. I still think that Kagia's Premonition is going to be like the blowout of blowout cards. Like, hey, it's a combat trick. It also is going to pump your defense well enough to live. But you awaken that, and it sounds like your creature just gets really stupid, unless they've already eroded it, but I doubt that. Yeah. Uh, she knows him. Ugh. And a basic windstone and a peasant revolt foil. Starting in the field, you may put up one rock from your hand into your field. Oh. 
Unfortunately, Cheshire Cat has a stupid enter box. They really need to errata that to just be like when it hits the field. Like anything that has the word enter, in my opinion, should say hit the field. But at the same time, I understand that, especially with something like Cheshire Cat. Because do you know, I would just blink it, just straight up blink, 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 and it just happens. Demon of the Black Moon. Ooh, here we go. Here's the first Lucifer that we've seen. This is like the one card I actually want stamps of. I feel like you can use and abuse his life gain. And the fact that he's got a cruel edict on the way in seems pretty good. I agree with your use and abuse, but they were smart enough to make it a once per turn effect. Otherwise, you could just stack it. Yeah. Well, if you play him with a fight card and then swing in, you get two uses out of him. Mm -hmm. Assuming you lose the fight, which as long as you're not losing hard and or smart. Yeah, I see. Uh, Foeman of the World Tree, basic blue stone. Ooh, a full art green, or sorry, the white memoria. Nice. This looks pretty cool. The cogs are textured, and it's got some kind of like pectoral thing going on in the background. <laughs> I don't know. I like how all the full arts have gold writing on the bot. Or well, uh, for their names, have a golden writing. Yeah. So in case you missed the fact that it has no text box and it's full art, it has gold writing. Yep. You see gold writing. Great uh, to us. Regular disappearance, a foil stone, and a foil muse. A celestial yes. of music. It's the first time I've seen this one. But um, I saw, watched another YouTuber open like three full arts of that and like four foils. He also got a god pack. Did he? Yeah, it was See, just the foil super rares. Ah, uh, no, okay, so no stamps. Could you imagine that though in this one? Oh my god, yeah. I have not seen a god pack yet, but then again, I've opened only three boxes. Well, here's the hoping we get one. Yes, Whoa. sir. Uh, World Tree Protector, a Blackstone, and another Foil Athena. So apparently, I'm going to start playing red. Because I have three Athenas now. One of each kind. Yes, sir. Only one Prissia so far, huh? Yeah, only one Prissia. Got both of my rulers. I got a good amount of regalia. Got a good amount of stones. Orgy, Drill Sergeant, Basic Delightful. Redstone, Moon Breeze Fairy. One of two fairies in the set. Yes, sir. Flying, pay a moon, fairies you control get plus two, plus two until on the turn, and you can only do it once per turn. I really hate this once per turn clause. Yeah. Well, like we said, they're learning from magic with low mana costs. Like, no one's going to get to like 20 mana, so they can't be like. Oh, well, we'll charge you two per ability and make it unlimited times. It's one, one for an ability, and you just, you, you, you're closed in it. Basic stone. Ooh, a foil. Ooh, long, long. Leader of the four sacred beasts. This guy, pretty good. You get to use and abuse him with sacred beasts and Prissia. Use and abuse is definitely correct. Unfortunately, he himself is not a sacred beast, so the horn will not work for him. Because it only pays colors for sacred beasts. I would have loved it the horn just straight up said beast versus sacred beast. Yeah. A regular Thumbelina. Ooh, our first is Zangi. <laughs> Keeper of the seal. Basically, O ring on the dude, and he pumps himself. And a foil witch of the night. Woo! <laughs> now, I really like our, our little Serenity, Angel of Serenity over there. Yeah. It's just. This is dumb, and that's again. That's not. That's a uh, just when he hits the field trigger versus the enter box. Yeah. Keeper, a present, black moon. Ooh, full art orb of disaster. I love it. I love it. That looks awesome. So good. Get yeah. that texture in there. Oh, so cool. Bruce had one of those in his sealed pool with Maribel and like three of the keepers and at one point in time it, he's just like all right well i'm just gonna start exiling in my deck now even if it's only like two cards at a time eventually tutor from my exile pile and bam and bam there we go for the win demon flame a keeper a regular orb and a full shinon sign all right we are down to the last three packs of this first box 
And then we got one more box to go. Temple Monk, Moonbreeze Elf, Tristan, Demonic Commander. There's our foil Blackstone and a foil Drill Sergeant. Yes, sir. Fun thing about Bruce, though, in our game three, his first exile hit Maribel and, like, something irrelevant. Yeah. Then his second exile hit Orb, and I was just like, I win. I win. I win. Space Time Collapse, a regular Muse, a foil keeper, keeper of the past Earther. Earther. Another Earther. goddess. Deal, you may remove up to two cards in your graveyard from the game. If you do, deal two damage multiply by the combined total cost of the cards you move this way to target Jayvers later. As long as there are ten or more cards in the removed area, this card gains plus three, plus three in target attack. That's pretty good for a three job. I like all the keepers. He used um, Keeper of the Future to yep. hit from the top of his deck twice because he had two of those. And like I said, he just had the worst possibles. Like, seeing Maribel out there was great, but the second Orb hit, then he lost the game because he couldn't get it back. Yeah. Uh, another Foment, Oil Land, Keeper of the Present. There's the card he's talking about. Alright, so that was our first box. We got Full Art Tree, a Galapis. Got some cool full arts like Athena and an orb and a Valentina. Yeah, we hit some good pulls in this box. Yeah. All right, that's the first box. We got one more coming up. And thank you. Thank you very much.